Holler, holler. Hey, I'm Coach Megan. And are you um, working on your back tuck dismount off a beam? Well, if you are, oh my gosh, you've come to the right place. Let me show you one first, and I'll just give you a few pointers that might help you out. So you want to uh, get to the end of the beam. I like to start up on my, whoa, but don't, you know, lose your balance. I mean, come on. So get your balance. I like to go up on my toes. I've seen some other people though go flat like this. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. You want to start nice and tall. And then as you dip down, you can drop your chest a little bit, you can see in the slow motion how my chest has dropped. But then, you really, really, really need to pull those arms up by your ears, lift your chest up. So you wanna open this whole thing up. Think about your arms going past your ears. Once they get up to your ears, that's when you wanna start looking at your hands. Then you're gonna get your knees up, but not just your knees, you have to get your hips up also. Because if you forget about your hips, ooh, I don't want you to fall on your head. Ay, ay, ay. So a good drill, you can just lay here and just do a ton of these. Because this is your open position that you'll need to feel and then snap those knees over. Okay? Even doing like a bunch of backwards rolls, I know it sounds silly, but it just kind of gets that same, whoa feeling of getting those knees over your head. And then as you're pulling your knees up, you really have to tighten your stomach because some kids will arch like this and it's just like almost impossible to flip if you're arched. So your knees come up, you have to tighten your stomach muscles. And the way you're gonna be able to do that is doing a million gazillion ab things. Okay, you need to just sit here in your hollow body hold, like for a long time, watch a movie. I'm just kidding, just aim for like a minute at a time, like twice for a minute, then lots and lots of lemon squeezers. Put the lemon here, squeeze the lemon, tuck your knees and your shoulders up, make the lemonade. Just do those, like a lot. On a squishy mat, this is perfect to get your legs strong. Do tuck jumps, and then I like this jump. So you squat, arms forward, stick your butt out, arms up and down, up and horizontal, jump. Because it's the same motion. These jumps, candlestick jumps. Oh gosh. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Candlestick jumps. Like that. Candlestick. Tuck jumps. And of course, do it into the pit. Off the vault, show them really quick the vault. Going into the pit, see the vault with the foam blocks? Get in the belt on the trampoline. Have a spot, be safe, okay? Because you never wanna just be like, oh, I think I'm gonna backflip off the balance beam. You gotta get your steps, right? Then, as you're coming around, the stomach thing, again, I felt my stomach tightening so much as I was landing. So as you're landing, spot the ground. Look for it. Your feet are coming down and you pull your chest up at the same time. Because if you land like this, with your butt out, you're gonna do the splat, or whatever it is. So yeah, pull that chest up, really bend those knees. Okay, trying not to go like that too much. Booty under. Feel the mat. Mm. Dig it in there. And there you go. And a good way to practice your jump freeze, just jump off the beam and freeze. You can go forwards first. You can even do a tuck jump so you get the same feel. Boom. You see that? Bend, bend those knees. And then let's see if we can do it backwards. Backwards is definitely harder. This is straight jump. Actually, no, tuck jump. Why not? 
Oh, see, I lean back. So really straight up and down. Now the biggest thing I see with kids doing this is they'll go, they won't get their arms to their ears, they'll only get here, and they throw back too much. I threw back a little, but when you do that right away, it's gonna throw you right into the ground, and then it's kinda scary. I'll try, attempt one the wrong way, but don't try this at home. You see how I kinda didn't really get a jump? Because if you get this, and that's another thing, really push off those legs. Lift up, okay, open this up. Never be here, and then try and flip. You'll go nowhere and you'll fall right on your noggin. Good luck with that, you can do it. Here is your end of the video trick. And remember I have an app with all my videos organized. Because I do have 600 videos. I see a lot of people asking if I have a certain video, and I do, but people just don't know. Because um, there's just so many swirling around in the space of a computer. So you can go there and find it more easy. Probably for whatever you're looking for. Here's your end of the video trick.